So what we're seeing is what we call a mission of mercy. Um, it is a project that's run through the Virginia Dental Association Foundation. And it brings together uh, about 450 volunteers, uh, dentists, assistants, hygienists. We also have pharmacists here, nurses, and physicians. And what we do is we screen patients and then we try to help them with as many of their oral health needs as possible. Anywhere from the cleaning to a filling to a, an extraction, unfortunately, we do a lot of those, um, and uh, in some cases, dentures. But the key is, is we want to help them with their most major need. I haven't been to the dentist in about 20 years because I can't afford it. The reason we came here today is because we love the profession of dentistry. We've been very blessed to have these skills, and this is the best way that we can use our skills to give back to our citizens of Virginia. I know when I got into dental school and started treating patients, I realized that this was my calling. And uh, when I was in dental school, I did a mission trip in Jamaica. And to go and give care to those that need it is just such a rewarding experience. And to sit, do a project like this just brings it all full circle. And to be able to have three generations of us working together, it's wonderful. I mean, it's a it's dream come true. It's just a wonderful experience to be here with my classmates, with um, other physicians, with the whole community of healthcare, just to see that we're all integrated and that it takes every um, facet of that healthcare spectrum to provide for that one patient. This is four bad teeth they'll be taken out today. I'm grateful because I was in pain for a long time and I know this is a gift from God and because I've been praying for a long time to get rid of the pain and today is the day I'm set free. What I like about dentistry is the opportunity to help my fellow man to be given some gifts from the good Lord and training from the school that we attended and being able to help people and make an impact and change in not just their health but their whole self concept. So it's, it's a rewarding opportunity to give to your to your fellow man. He's done more than 50 mom projects and it, we were thrilled with all these mom projects. We talked about it a lot and finally we said to our daughter, you just need to go to one of these so you can understand why we love this so much. And then after that she said, this is what I want to do. She's first year VCU right yeah. now. I feel like I make a difference in people's lives. And when I see 450 volunteers that come out of their way on a cold day like this to provide their free time, that they could be with their families or doing hobbies or doing whatever, and they're here helping people. That volunteer work really encourages me and makes me think that I'm in a very lucky place to be president of an association who does so much for the public.